Hey guys, welcome back to Maxim Automation. In this tips and tricks series, today we are going to see that why we should use a string builder for a string operations, especially when we are using the operations inside a loop. For example, concatenation operation. Let's say it practically that why you should avoid concatenating a string using the plus operator. So first of all, I'm going to create a string variable and then we'll assign some value to this variable. After that, let's create an object of a string builder class using the new keyword and we'll pass the initial string value. So basically the string type is immutable, which means that a string cannot be changed once created. For example, this is string maximum automation will occupy a memory space on the heap. And if we modify this string with some other values like maximum automation test, then it will create a new string object on the memory instead of modifying an original string at the same memory address. This causes the performance issues if the original string changed multiple times by performing the different string operations. So to avoid this performance issues, you can use a string builder, which does not create a new object in the memory. It expands the memory to accommodate the modified string. Now I'll create a for loop and inside that loop, I'm going to perform the string concatenation operation. Let's assume that we want to perform the same operation thousand times. So if we concatenate the string test on the original string, then this will create a new string each time means once this for loop ends, then we'll have thousand more strings created in memory, which will definitely gonna cause the performance issues. So to avoid those performance issues, let's create another loop where we'll gonna perform the same concatenation operation, but with the help of a string builder class. String builder class provides the method append to concatenate the string. So this append method is not going to create a new string in the memory. It will dynamically increase the size of the same memory address. Now let's see that how much time difference we can get in the performance of string and string builder. To calculate the time taken by both the loops, we can use inbuilt class stopwatch to get the elapsed time. Create an object of stopwatch and add using system.diagnostics to access the stopwatch class. After that, start the stopwatch by using start method. Then we'll stop it using the stop method after the for loop block. Now I'm gonna print the time taken by this for loop using the elapsed milliseconds of stopwatch class. It will return the total time took by the for loop in milliseconds. And then I'll again restart the stopwatch to calculate the time of a string builder for loop block. Similarly, let's stop the stopwatch at the end of the for loop and we'll print the time in console. Now let's run the test to get the time taken by both the for loop. So execution is done. Let's open the test logs to get the details. Here you can see that concatenation operation using a string took three milliseconds, while a string builder took less than a millisecond time to complete the operation. Now let's increase the number of operation to get the better picture. I'm updating the value as one lakh. Run the test again. Once done, open the test log. And now you can see that concatenation operation using a string took around 54,000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to 54 seconds. And see the time taken by string builder for one lakh operation is only two milliseconds. So this is the huge difference in the performance. Basically, when the number of string operation increases in your framework, 
then the performance will also gonna hit. So I would suggest to use the string builder for all these string operations in your framework. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe the channel. Also, please don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.